Hey, thanks for stopping by the channel. If you're new, welcome. In today's video, we're going to go over my Canadian portfolio update to end off the year of 2020. It's been a crazy year for sure for all of us. And we're going to take a look at where my portfolio is sitting at for the end of the year of 2020 and take a look at the positions I plan on holding into the beginning of 2021. If you appreciate the transparency, give this video a thumbs up. I really appreciate it. And subscribe for more portfolio updates just like this one, my stock picks and much more. My goal is to build a community where we can all grow our portfolios together. I wanna to be tracking all the trades I make so we can see and learn and be entertained by the decisions I make to see if they were good decisions or bad decisions. So without further ado, we're gonna dive right into it. The public portfolio is currently sitting at 1.346 million. Coronavirus occurs and we start to dip, 189 in March, 296,000 in April, 306,000 in May, 396,000 in June, 519,000 in July. Tesla stock split, and this is a glitch where I should actually be is right here. September, 780,000. Markets get a little rocky. October, 603,000. November, over 1 million. And as of today, December 28th, to end off the year, we're at sitting at $1,346,106. Returns of the year are 622%. Returns in the past quarter is 75%. One quarter ago, we were sitting at 767,000. In the past month, the portfolio has gained 23.69%. And the portfolio was at 1,088,000 one month ago. I currently have 1.8 million in stock and I owe 423,000 in margin that I'm using with some trades. The other is the amount of premiums that I'm gonna be collecting or already have collected from selling puts and selling covered calls. Remember, this is all for entertainment purposes only. That's it. We added a new position in CRISPR today. I bought some at about $176, saw it sold off, added more to my, to my position. So now we have 500 shares at an average cost basis of 179.4. Current price is 168.9. Market value is 84,000 US. This is my US margin account. We're not gonna be taking a look at my TFSA or my RSB. We're just gonna look at the trades I have in my US margin account. So all these are in US dollars. We have Palantir. 153,000, 6,000 shares worth. Square, 600 shares, 134,000 worth. Tattooed Chef, 1,000 shares, sitting at $23,420. Tesla, 1,300 shares, sitting at $862,000. Then we have covered calls. First one, CRISPR against 300 of my shares, because there's three contracts here. I collected $829 in premium, and this expires this Thursday, December 31st, at the $185 strike. Palantir next, 60 contracts for all 6,000 shares. The strike is $29 for the strike is $29 expiring this Thursday. I collected $2,471 in premium. Remember, when you sell covered calls or you sell puts, you collect the premium upfront. So I already collected this money. Square, we have six contracts at the 220 strike and the stock is above that. So we're gonna see these shares likely be sold automatically coming this Thursday in the next few days. I collected $3,045 in premium. Tesla, 13 contracts. The expiry is January 8th at the $750 strike. I collected $6,022 in premium for all 13 contracts, which is against all 1,300 shares. Last covered call here is Tattooed Chef. The strike is $35 with January 15th as the expiration, and I collected $580. The only new position that we see here from this week's video compared to last week is CRISPR. And like I said, my previous video, I was looking to add to this position, and I did. I'm also looking to add more to this position. I'm working on building up to uh, over $200 thousand dollar position in this over time if CRISPR goes above my cost basis in the next week or two I may not add nearly as much to this position I might just let it ride but if we see more dips more buying opportunities then I'll likely be adding to this position we will see square be sold off most likely in a few days if if it holds above 220 and I like square as a company so I actually have been selling puts to get an opportunity to buy back into Square if these shares get sold because I am a huge believer in Square as a company long-term. Palantir, I may go ahead and sell this position if we get about 10% above my cost basis because I want to add more to CRISPR and I don't wanna hold a whole bunch of margin, so I may sell Palantir to go heavier into CRISPR. But as of now, I still love Palantir. It's just, to me, the opportunity and the upside in CRISPR for the next three to five years seems a lot higher. If a stock goes up significantly in one, two, three weeks, 
I'll go ahead and take profits most likely, especially if it's on margin. Because remember, I'm paying interest on margin. My interest on the loans are actually 4.4%. As an example, if I have $400,000 on margin right now, then I am charged once a month interest on that $400,000 loan that I'm essentially taking from Qtrade that they're providing from, for me. So what that works out to be is 4% of 400,000 in one year is $16,000. Now $16,000 divided by 12, we're looking at roughly $1,400 per month that I'll be paying in interest just for the loan. If I make 20,000 profits or more on that loan, that's a good ROI. However, nothing's guaranteed and I don't suggest using margin. The issue is if you take on too much margin and your whole portfolio falls 50%, you will get a margin call and the, the brokerage can force sell your stock to cover the negative balance. This is the huge issue around margin. This is why I don't suggest using margin whatsoever and this is purely for entertainment purposes only. There's two reasons why I share these portfolio updates. Number one, I wanna be documenting everything I do so I can learn better. Number two, I personally always wanted someone who would share everything they did to build their wealth or just show the ups and downs of building the wealth. I would love to see someone who documented and showed everything to everyone with full transparency. So because of that, I want to do that for others now. And with that, I can also learn from my own mistakes or my wins. I don't treat failures as failures because there's no such thing as a failure. You, you learn, you either lose money and learn or you make money and learn. You should always be learning from your decisions. That's what I believe. So I wanna be documenting all this just so we can take a look at the mistakes I make so we can learn from it and the things I do properly that end up working out. And then we can dive deeper into why things worked out so we can all grow our portfolios faster together. Thank you for watching all the way to the end. Give this video a thumbs up if you appreciated it and subscribe for more portfolio updates and more stock sharing. I wanna help us all build this positive community. I'll see you in the new year and I'll see you in the next video.